Okay, y'all. I am here to say that I have been a snob for quite some for quite some time, especially when it comes to my fragrances. I've been a snob. And <laughs> so when I've been hearing people talking about Bath and Body Works, I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, I want them little body sprays. I ain't going to sit up here in front and say I haven't been that person. But then I started watching, um, I think Joss, really Joss, you know, because she loved her some Bath and Body Works. Her some, you know, body sprays, fine fragrance, mist, whatever they want to call them. She really has, you know, and so I said, well, damn, let me see. Um, and I've always had one, but let me just say, I done got turned out. And so I know some of us just really be looking like, oh, Bath and Body Works, uh. But I'm here to tell y'all, us fragrance snobs, that Bath and Body Works has come up, has come up. And, um, yeah, we need to stop. You know, we can, let me show y'all what I got. And the the fragrance snob in me wants to share these because I have been surprised. Like, just shooketh by the Bath and Body Works. So let's talk about Bath and Body Works and the ones us fragrance snobs need to add to our collection. All right, so first off, let's just talk about me in the in this Bath and Body Works issue. I have always looked at Bath and Body Works as that little store in the mall that smelled tutti frutti, super sweet, and everything. You remember back in the day, I did have cucumber melon, but really, Bath and Body Works was this the gateway fragrance place for your daughter let's just be honest that's what it was for me and a lot of us you know you take your daughter there you get her you know you go let her get her some fine fragrance mist she could smell good and it didn't cost you a lot okay so that's what it was to me i was like that oh that's that bath and body works and when you go there and a lot of times so many of them have always been like strawberries or sweet 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 and I, I just wasn't featuring that and so come going forward it's always been like oh bath and body works whatever but now i gotta be honest y'all um just trying out some stuff i have gotten hooked on them so i am here for the fragrance snobs because we need to you know i just want to share that there are actually some really good fragrances from Bath and Body Works that you can use to enhance a fragrance, to you know prolong that fragrance, you know the the longevity of your fragrance, things like that. You can layer to get a really good solid, you know, long wear out of a fragrance. So we're gonna talk about that. So the first thing I want to say is let me just tell y'all something. Let me pull these. Let me grab one of these. Now, let's first talk about their body creams. I don't get the lotions. I get the body creams. The body creams are so nice. For real. I, you know, like, just being honest, the body lotions where I was just like, man, they were okay. They weren't as moisturizing as I wanted them to be or whatever when I tried them back in the day. Now, I've tried these. The body cream, mm -mm. They are so, the quality is there, right? They are real, the quality is good. You know, you put them on, it really, you feel hydrated. You feel the good product that it is, the quality of the product. So you don't feel like, oh, I'm just throwing on some lotion just to get a fragrance, just to stick, you know, get my fragrance to stick to. No, it's actually, you know, moisturizing your skin, making your, doing something good for your skin. Now, um, and that's the other thing with the lotions, the cream, the body creams, it helps your fragrance stick. It does, it, especially if you're doing something that kind of like vibes with your fragrance, it's going to make it stick better. So I'm going to show you the ones that for real, for real, yeah, you could, you could get and add to your fragrance collection. So let's get into it. Okay. So the ones that I'm going to show you 
are the ones that I think that are just stunning and something that you could that that's kind of universally kind of good depending on what you like, right? I have some that I have purchased recently that are more specific to my collection, like gardenia, things like that, because it is that time of year, lilac, because that is something that I'm into right now, or I have a lot of that in my collection and I want to amp up some things. So those are, I'm not going to show you those. These are the ones I'm going to show you that are just, y'all, they just do the damn thing. And there's a couple more I could have done, but I'm just going to go with these. I'm just going to go with these. Um, did I grab? Yep, I did. Okay, so for ba so, let me just go on and talk about it. Oh, I'm going on. Okay, so the first one is you got to have a good vanilla to because sometimes you need to sweeten up something. Like you can have a something that's a tad. Let me be real, ladies. On unisex ones, sometimes you need to sweeten it up because it's leaning a little bit too masculine. And all you need is something to sweet it up. So here's two that will work really well. Of course, warm vanilla sugar because you cannot go go wrong with just throwing in some sugar, some vanilla, sweet vanilla in something that will then, you know, sweeten it up, take it off, take it off of that. Oh, it's such a, um, you know, kind of leaning mask and sweet it up. Now, here's the next one. This is Cashmere Glow. I didn't know. Okay, so this is Cashmere Glow. This is a really good, like I said, to sweeten up something. It's got that, it has golden peach, vanilla, cashmere, musk. Cashmere in a fragrance, vanilla, musk. Ugh, you just can't go wrong. Okay, so this is Cashmere Glow. So these are perfect ones. Like if you need something just to like sweeten up something, these work really well. So that's those. Then I have this one. Now this one is can be a little bit for specific things, but it's still a, just a classic vibe. This is Almond Blossom. This is almond oil, vanilla or orchid, and cashmere musk. So it has a sweet almond vibe. If you like almond, if you like, you know, that kind of, if you have certain things, like I have jasmine and marzipan, and it's just not almond enough for me. Well, this will take it where you need it to be. There's that. All right. Then I have this one. Now let's talk about some that have kind of been hyped. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then found out, damn it, this shit is good. So where's it at? What do I do with it? Okay. Give me, oh, this is a classic. My bad. This is a classic, classic. Now this is classic summer at the beach. This is a classic, classic vibe this has frangipani coconuts bergamot um, sea salt so this is just if you want to have that kind of classic beachy vibe suntan just i am kicking it this is perfect to layer with one of your you know um this is per this is perfect to layer with your um you know more summertime fragrances things like um bronze goddess dolce garden um this is what it'll work really well with them and then it'll just bring some to the party to add a little extra something to it so that is at the beach this is something that honestly this is something like if you start out with your fragrance on and you're gonna be hanging out at the beach or something like this this is something that you could just have in your bag just to like freshen up like say for instance you're going to be going someplace like you're hanging at the beach, but then y'all decide, let's go and have some, you know, a quick little dinner someplace. This will be perfect to have in your bag, in your bag to like, because by now your fragrance might be gone and you don't have it with you, but you still want to smell good. So this is perfect for that. It'll, you know, give you that little beachy, like we've been hanging at the beach, got a little sun kiss look. Yes, child. Yes. All right. Now this one is not for necessarily this time of year it was warm weather, but this was the it girl from, this is the it girl that made me try this out. And I blame Joss because she talked about this damn thing all winter long and it is bonfire bash. This has vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, cashmere musk. Are you seeing a thread here? Are you seeing this thread? But yeah, this one has a slight smokiness to it. It's just, mm, mm. this is, this is, this is um, holidays. 
So if you're looking for something for the holidays, yes, child, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's that one. Now, this one they've been talking about a lot. And it's worth it is it is good. This is fairy tale. If you love orange blossom, if you like this has vanilla, warm nectar, if you love a good orange blossom, now everybody says it's similar to Libra. I don't know because I don't have Libra. But what I do know, this is a really stunning orange blossom that will work that works really well with my other orange blossoms and really amps up that kind of sweet, beautiful orange blossom vibe. So that is fairy tale. All right. Then we have, now well, let's talk about the ones that I have, that I've just gotten recently, that I was like, okay, so we're going to go with this one. I wanted this one. This is Magnolia Charm. This is perfect for this time of year. If you have florals and you want to amp up that floral, this is really good. It has a slight citrusy vibe from the Magnolia. Magnolia has a slight citrusy vibe. Mm. But it's light, it's airy. It is perfect to layer with a good floral from like this is gonna be like going with my florals, right? This will hit, it will hit with my florals. I promise you. I promise you it will. Oh, 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 oh. sorry, be back. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you this one because this actually is in a fine fragrance. I happen to have the perfume spray, which they no longer make, and this is rose. This is exactly what it is. It's a really nice watery rose. This is perfect to go with my rose scented fragrances um, for my spring and summer roses, which are lighter, which have, which um, aren't as, they're not jammy and things like that. And, you know, put the lotion on, baby, you are going to smell like a rose garden all day. So now you can only get this in the fine fragrance mist now, but... You need to snatch this. You need to snatch this. You need to snatch this. I mean, it's really good. And the beautiful thing about Bath and Body Works, let's just have this moment. Don't you pay full price for this stuff. Matter of fact, don't even get it when it's buy three, get three free. Wait till that 595 sale. Wait for that 550 sale. Wait for the semi-annual sale when you can just grab the stuff. And it's, you know, and that's how you get caught though. That is how you get caught because Bath and Body Works has sales all the time. So it's like, well, shit, I can try it. I can try it. So now let me tell you how I really, the ones that really made me go, damn, let's just talk about this. Stop acting, you know, let's just stop. Let's just own up to the fact that you are a bougie snob, but you are loving the Bath and Body Works. These two, and then we're going to go into some other ones. <clears throat> just got these. Now, these two I've been hearing about. This one in particular, I'm going to go to the first one. Then I'm going to talk about the one that really like was like, damn, you know, okay, okay, just okay. Um, these two I have been hearing about and hearing about, and I was like, yeah, okay. Cause I've been watching these Bath and Body Work, um, videos and I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I, and in my head, and I'm just being honest, I was like, y'all don't know nothing. Cause y'all just Bath and Body Works. Y'all don't even know perfume really. That's, that was the snob in me. I'm not even, listen, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. That was a snob in me. That was the snob in me. So let me just talk about these two. That said, bitch, you okay, quick play with yourself. You are now a Bath and Body Works hoe. Bath and Body Works hoe. Okay. This is the one. I have been hearing people talk about this. They were like, oh, you're the one. It's velvet rose. It's got a, and I read it. It's like a drop of strawberry nectar. I said, this motherfucker going to be sweet as hell because that is the body, Bath and Body Works, you know, way. Y'all, this is so good. It is a beautiful rose with this woodiness and this gorgeous, and it's that is, and it is, it's just a drop of sweetness. I know what this will pair really well with. It will pair really well with Nina Ritchie, Lagstaff's Rose Absolute, or any of her of the Lagstaff's, the other than Chance. This will go really well with any of them because it is going to just really amp up that rose and it's got that sweetness to it. Just a sweet, just a little slightly tart, 
you're the one. I was like, damn, they ain't lying to you on this one. They ain't lying. All right, and then this one. This is in the stars. Now, this is starflower, sandalwood musk, tangelo, white agarwood, which is, of course, supposedly a oud, and radiant amber. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody's like, oh, this is like, this is like a perfume. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Quit lying to yourself, it ain't. But damn it, this smells good. It was like, damn it, Janet. I was like, really? This is really good. This is, you know, and it, and what it is, it's like this really just, um, just a very glamorous, very, has a little sophistication to it. And that's what I'm saying. They have really amped up, you know, body, Bath and Body Works over the years, I guess I did notice, has really amped up and become a little more refined. Their fragrances are a little more refined. Some of them, yes, of course, are still that super sweet, you know, ache, tooth achingly sweet. I ain't gonna never wear shit. But these are really great quality. And for someone on a budget who's, you know, doesn't really want to spend a lot on fragrances, these are perfect. And then they can layer them. Or for somebody like me, you, you snob that you are, because I know you a snob here because you're watching this shit. Um, these are good to, you know, really amp up your fragrances, give it a little difference. Like, especially if you wearing a lot of designer fragrances, these are perfect to change it up a little bit so you don't smell like everybody. Does that make sense? Because if you're wearing like good girl, let's give it a little judge with something that'll make you stand out even more because you don't smell like everybody wearing good girl. Or if you're a La Vie et Belle person, find something to add to that La, La Vie et Belle so it's not just La Vie et Belle. It's La Vie Belle plus my little signature on it. Okay, so that was In the Stars. Then, now this one, I'm still, I don't have the, because at first I was just buying the body cream. And I said, girl, get the fine fragrance mist. Let's just quit playing. This is what I need is Dahlia. And this is Dahlia Petals Crisp Pear Praline Musk Whipped Tonka Bean. Tonka Bean. Hello, goodbye. That's what I need in my life, some Tonka Bean, because I love Tonka Bean. So as soon as this comes back in a fragrance mist, I will be, you know, having my pairing so I can just be layered up and gorgeous. All right, so that is um, that. It's, it's got a sweetness to it. Sorry, y'all, hold on. I got way too much going on in this desk. It's just, an, it's just way too much. Way too much. All right, so that one has got a sweetness. It's got that pear, the tonka. Come on now, we talking tonka bean, okay? Okay. Now, let's go with this last one, and then we're going to get into the real sexy ones. This is Butterfly. This is new. This is a beautiful, it's got raspberry and iris. It's like a candied iris. It's a sweet iris. It's got vanilla. This is really good for like any candy violet, like insolence and everything. It will really amp up that vibe. So it's got this juicy raspberry and iris. So it's like, you know, it's a juice. It's a floral fruity, but it's specific. So this really will work well with anything irisy, anything violet. It will really, it will really enhance it and just make it just glorious. And I have already done that. I wore this with artsy and baby i was sweet like candy but still um, a little sophisticated okay so there we go now let's talk about a few that are um that are you know more sexy ones you know that just yes you know nighttime ones and everything now, i've heard of some that i i don't have yet we'll keep this going if y'all like this the bougie the fragrance snob will show y'all you know the stuff that you need to get from Bath and Body Works again. Okay. So anyway, I can't find my, because I have a perfume spray for this. Once I run out of that, I will go on and get the um, Fine Fragrance Mist. But this is Into the Night. Now this is a classic. Everybody talks about it. And they should. This has Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose, Creamy Patchouli, and Musk. So this has kind of got this, um, and I'm going to change this out because at the time I just grabbed it, 
but it, this is, um, I'm going to tell you what this works really well with, pairs really well with. Amethyst by Lalique because it has this berry note to it. It's got the berries in it. So if you have some that are kind of berry-like and, and kind of deep and dark, this will go with that. It will go with like Nero Asoluto that I have by Roberto Confali. It'll go with those type of things that are dark and sensuous, but with a berry note. Like they have like more of that juicy berry. That's what this, that's what this pairs really well with. So that's that one. Now, Here's my last ones that are, and I don't really hear people talking about these as much, but these right here, be, they kind of killing the game, y'all. All right, so this is Dark Kiss, baby. This is sexy. This is Black Raspberry Burgundy Rose Bergamot Dark Vanilla Meat Bean and Plum Musk. This is super, this is sexy, y'all. This is sexy. Because I love plum, this just, mm -mm. I have layered this with quite a few of my plum ones. Um, one in particular, I'm trying to work with it to see if it actually helps it make it easier for me to wear, which is Dark Purple by Montal, because I still struggle with that one. But this is so, it's, it's got a sweetness to it, but you get that plum, because that plum gives it that, that gorgeous sexy vibe all of this together is super sexy now this is one i have the lotion and i have the the um you know i have the cream and this this is one let me just be let me just get y'all this get the i'm planning on getting the body wash too because i don't buy a lot of bath and body wash body washes because i'm just being honest i'm trying to keep myself from having too 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 much stuff i mean i already got enough shit you know i got enough in my life i don't want to have just just you know because i'm already got all these other body washes and stuff i'm trying not to i'm trying it ain't happening i don't know if it's gonna happen but i'm trying but i'm saying that this is a perfect at home date night vibe so if you having like at home romantic night this is perfect so this is something that i would definitely get the body wash the lotion the cream and this because this is just perfect for at home now yes i use it to layer and amp up some of my um plums like orchid leather by which doesn't need any amping but you know i like it with orchid leather and and some other plums i have but this is this is like you just being sexy at home. If you just want to be sexy at home and you don't want to pull out all these other things, this is perfect. Just take you a shower with the body wash, put on the body cream, put on this, get with your lover, and they, you will smell deliciously sexy. Just like that. Just like that. Now, this is the one that I was like, oh, bitch, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch, yes, we all need this because I love a good, deep, beautiful, sexy fragrance, right? And this is Sensual Amber. Hell, the damn thing is called Sensual. And that's exactly what it is. This is Golden Amber Berries, Orange Flower, Lotus Petals, Creamy Sandalwood. You really get the, lo the Lotus Petals. I mean, you really get the Amber and it's just, and the Orange Flower, it is just really stunningly sexy. This is another one that you need to get the body wash, the cream, and the fragrance mist because this is just, this is, this is going to bed like, you know what we about to do. This is signal, you know, you, you took a shower, you, you, you cuddle up next to your lover and they know, get to business, baby. Don't play. You know what I want. <laughs> or just take what you want because in this lifetime you ain't always got to wait for somebody to give it to you grab it and take it tell them wake up whatever that's, it's that type of night so that is sensual amber by bath and body works so these are it the, this is it for the ones that i just wanted as a fragrance snob tell you that as fragrance snobs these are good to try 
Just go ahead if you can go to the store and try them out to give them a little, little look see. Or trust me and spend that five ninety five or five fifty if you just want to buy them and try them. And you don't feel like going to the store. Hit it when they got a five dollar and ninety five cent sale and buy like six of them. It's only thirty dollars. All right now. Let me know what other ones I need to be trying. I got a list. There's a couple more that I need the fragrance mist for, and I'm and I'm trying I'm trying not to like get overwhelmed. So I'm looking at them. I'm gonna edit these out. I'm gonna try to keep these to a certain level. I don't know if that's gonna happen because there's some more over here. There's some more over here. But anyway, let's go on and get out of here. Thank you for watching. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.